Did we see uh, the best of Harold on, uh, on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, – you're always hoping it can get better, right? There's always room for improvement. But, yeah, I thought he had a great day, man. He played hard. Um, he found ways to affect the quarterback. Obviously, the stat line wasn't quite there in terms of sacks, but the production in terms of getting to the quarterback, the pressures, the hits, um, he plays hard. Like, he does. And that's that's been evident throughout his time here. And I think now it's just translating a little bit more to finding some success rushing. Um, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or some of these even games that we're running and using them in those situations. So, but you use the word relentless to describe Ola. He goes out there and, and would have had two and a half sacks if not for a holding in the secondary. What does his effort and, and his production mean to you, especially when Bud's probably not 100%? Yeah, man, it's huge. I mean, you guys hear it all the time, next man up mentality. Um, somebody goes down, you guys step up, whether it's before the game, whether it's during the game, um, whether it's throughout the week. Um, it's been it's been big for us getting him out there. He's produced like he's took advantage of, of his opportunity and he's produced and ran with it. So hopefully that continues. Was there a, a uncertainty what you, what you were maybe getting in him because he didn't get a lot of opportunity to rush the passer in Pittsburgh. And uh, when did you kind of know that maybe he would be capable of having some success? There? Yeah, I think as we kind of went through training camp and he he got opportunities there, and I think his effort showed throughout training camp. His uh, style of play showed throughout training camp and then the chances he's had like in the games early whether it's Arizona whether it's uh Seattle out there like you saw him do some good things rushing the passer moves um and it's just kind of taken off and whatever it was in Pittsburgh like he's coming here and had a mindset and fortunately for us like he's taking advantage of his opportunity how concerned are you just about that position right now with Rashad out and then, of course, Bud unable to go? And how much has, I guess, Ola helped ease that to some extent? Yeah, having Ola do what he's done absolutely has helped, um, especially in regard to third down. Um, and we'll see how it shakes out this week as, as things play out these next couple of days, just in terms of how that position is going to play out on Sunday, right? I mean, we got different guys. We got some versatility with some other guys. So, I mean, we'll just have to kind of see see where these guys are at um, as we get to Sunday. What do you think about their quarterback? And you, you faced rookie quarterbacks before. I mean, how you approach them different for some rookies? than it is others, and do you kind of fight that battle yourself on how aggressive to be? Yeah, I think you study them, study what they do well, what they don't do well, what they've struggled with, um, what they've had success against. Um, you try to formulate your game plan, whether it's a rookie or any other quarterback, kind of off that stuff. Um, I mean, he can make all the throws. I think he's a tough kid. I think he's competitive. Um, I mean, they play some good defenses early on. They have. So... I mean, it'll be interesting to see just what we do and how we're able to affect them. Like, ultimately, it comes down to affecting the quarterback, whoever you're playing, whether it's a rookie or whether it's Tom Brady, right? You're trying to find ways to affect the quarterback and, and utilize what, what you've seen on film to kind of do that. What are some things you guys could do defensively just to get that turnover ratio, you know, tip more in, into your, your scale? Into your yeah, I think continue to emphasize it like we do. Um, I think we got to – take advantage of every opportunity we get to do it. I think right now there's opportunities out there where we're not, where we're not trying to hammer it out, where we're not getting our hands up. Um, and it's been a big emphasis, obviously, this week, trying to get that turned back in that direction. Um, but we got to take advantage of every opportunity we get to actually disrupt the ball. With a, with a rookie, though, it's the idea to go after him or to try to confuse him with coverages and stuff like that or mix in a little bit of both? Yeah, I think it's, it's a combination, whatever you feel is best with our personnel, with their personnel, um, just different ways to affect them, whether it's from the back end, from the front, um, whatever it is. I mean, there's a lot of ways to affect them um, or try to affect them at least. Uh, so based on our personnel and who they got to, I think all that comes into play. You just sort of were ripping the ball out, making that extra effort. How much does that change for the secondary? Do they almost have to get thrown one? Is there something you can do to improve your chances? Yeah, I think um, based on what – like we've always said, man coverage gets a little bit harder, right? Like we talked about last week, the main objective is not to let your man catch the ball, keep your eyes on your man. Like you're not really looking at the quarterback. You're not really seeing that type of stuff because that's when guys get open. But I think when we're in zone and we're in those vision and break type coverages, making sure we're good with our eyes on the quarterback and – breaking on those throws and not slow to break, um, and hopefully closing some of those windows with an opportunity to disrupt the ball there. Is Christian kind of getting to the point maybe where, you know, you can kind of consistently put him on a receiver 
or is that still you know one top receiver, or is that still? Yeah, I think by game plan, um, how we feel about him, how we feel about Rabbit, how we feel about their other guys, if that's a route we want to go, potentially it's something we could do. Um, I mean, I'm pleased with where he's at, man. He's competing, he's improving, he's challenging. Um, he just keeps keeps getting better, right? And there's things, but I think the big thing with him is each day trying to take that next step, continue to take that next next step, and it shows up on Sundays. Have you seen from him what you kind of anticipated based on camp, or is he even elevated a little bit? Yeah, in my opinion, I think he's 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 playing better than playing better than. Probably he did in camp right now, but we saw it in camp. Like he was doing the same things. He was challenging. He was competing, but he's going out there on Sundays and it's showing up. What's uh, what's Caleb got to keep in mind? You know, being out of action here for for a while, uh, you know, in order to keep any kind of progression. Yeah, he's got to stay engaged. Like in the meetings, whether he's in the treatment room watching film, whatever it is, he's got to stay engaged. He's got to know what we're doing defensively. He can't fall behind there because it's a growing thing throughout the season. Um, and he's got to learn, like continue to learn the game, right? Like the technique and some of that stuff right now, he's not able to do it. So just the mental aspect and staying engaged with what we're doing and learning offenses and all those types of things, I, I think is where you can take the next step right now. Is it especially tough to kind of stay patient? I mean, when he, he didn't play last year and then he had the back surgery, kept him out of off season. Is it, so you got to fight that sort of frustration? Here yeah, I'm sure he's frustrated. Like all these guys, when they get hurt, I'm sure they're, he's frustrated. He wants to be out there. He wants to work to get better and improve and create his role in this team. Um, but it's one of those things, like we always talk about, do what you can. Like we don't want to hear what you can't do. Do what you can. And what he can do is learn mentally and grow as a, smart football player and understanding the game. Is he doing all those things that you said he needs to do? I mean, you, you like what you, you, you probably can't devote a lot of time with him. You've got to work on the guys that are playing. But has he been engaged? Has he done everything? I think he, I think he has. I mean, I sit in some of those meetings, and um, Midge and Book do a great job asking questions in those meetings. They, they keep him engaged. Um, I think that's kind of a motto that we kind of go by throughout our unit with throughout this team. Like, you got to ask questions to keep these guys engaged, right? And he's able to answer questions. Um, so I do. I think it's trending in the right direction in that regard. Did David and Jan work as a tandem with their skill sets inside? Yeah, absolutely. I think David's playing really well well right now. Jayon has played a lot of good football for us. He's coming back from an injury. Um, Sean's playing well right now. Like, I think all those guys bring a kind of different skill set to the table. They're all kind of unique in their own ways. Um, so I think as that thing plays out, I mean, I, I believe all the, all those guys should be able to play for us. Then, then obviously at, at outside linebacker, how's the rotation going as far as guys pl you know, playing the right amount of snaps? You know, Harold, where you want to be, or how's that kind of process? Yeah, I mean, whenever you get these injuries and you're trying to fight through some of that stuff, uh, it kind of throws a wrench in your plans, right? Like, ideally, you get Bud out there all the time. You get Ola. You get Harold. You get Weave, you get Roby, like it's a totally different deal where now who knows how this thing plays out, where everything's at come Sunday. And I mean, that's always something you battle is trying to manage them. But at the same time, like when you're down numbers, it's a little bit harder to do. Finch added to the group this week. What do you kind of like about him? What can he do to kind of work his way into the mix? Yeah, I think Finch is a great kid. I think he's long. I think he play, he's always played hard for us. Um, learning right now. I mean, he's got to get adjusted to our scheme. I mean, there's some similarities, but we've changed some terminology as this thing's kind of went. Um, and he's been in a few other schemes since he left here. So I think getting caught up to speed on some of that stuff. Um, but from a technique standpoint, he knows what we want. He knows what we teach. Um, so really for him, it's just scheme understanding more so than anything right now.